Hello Summit, Jake here, along with Edward, the Edward Crouch. Uh, hey, don't forget about David, he's behind the camera. David Bright behind the camera. You don't get to see him, uh, but you get to see us. Just want to start off, got a lot of comments last week about my hands. You know, I talk for a minute, <laughs> Edward talks for six minutes, and then I just sit here and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to put my hands right here for this video, and we'll see how that works. Good? I guess. All right, here we go. I want to catch you up to date on two very exciting things before Edward uh, talks today. First off, we spent yesterday at Harmony ISD and Hawkins ISD, and we got to appreciate uh, 304 staff members of schools. That's teachers, coaches, administrators, cafeteria workers, uh, cleaning crew, uh, bus drivers, transportation, admin building. Uh, we passed out gift cards. We passed out uh, cards, and they were so thankful to do that. I'm happy to be a part of a church that can love our community and serve our community. Hey, but what's cool about that is, is Chick-fil-A Longview partnered with us on that. We gave them $10 gift cards. That's right. And Chuck King has been a friend of mine for 35 years. And he jumped in on that just to partner with us. And so uh, not only did we get to bless them, Chick-fil-A was a part of that as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a great partnership. Second thing I want to do is celebrate. You know, we've often been known as the Giving Church, and that is, uh, that's a cool thing to be. Our Love One Ministry, man, we do a lot of stuff with uh, Jim and Denise and his team on Friday that collect all that meat and pass out all that food all over East Texas and then our backpack program. Uh, that's giving food out to the kids in the school districts and in our food boxes and we meet needs in the community financially and we got a call yesterday that um, Lindy Mosley from Liberty Utilities cool. nominated our church um, for a program and we are going to receive a check from Liberty Utilities for $500 that goes into our Love One Missions program and they're recognizing us for the work we're doing in the community and so I just want to say thank you Summit because you're the ones that are doing this. You're All of our volunteers, all of the people that work in the backpack program, that you that donate food, you that give and tithe faithfully so that we can have the resources to meet needs in the community, uh, you're a part of this. And so you've been, uh, you've been recognized. You've been recognized for your faithfulness. And so shout out to Liberty Utilities for that. Shout out to you as a Summit Heights family. And on that note, I uh, wanted to let you know that uh, we are passing out food boxes. Uh, because uh, we are in phase one of the Texas reopening, uh, we're up here now more often, so Monday through Thursday, office hours. If you know somebody that needs a food box or you know somebody that's struggling, they want to make an appointment with me to get some help through our loved one, uh, send them my way, jake at summitheightsfellowship.com or have them call the church office, and we would love to meet with them. So we're excited. Getting back in a routine a little bit, yeah. getting back in the office, still working from home on some, some mornings, but here a lot more, and it feels really, really good. It does. It does. And Summit, you've been so faithful. Uh, thank you for doing that. You know, this has been a fun week. Jake and I have spent a lot of time together this week. We've had a couple of adventures yeah. over this last week, yeah, Monday. And tire and, uh, blowing out. So we've had some fun. Yesterday, uh, he, he texted me and said, hey, you ought to take me fishing. And so about... About 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, we got out on the water, and uh, as we were pulling up to the boat ramp, I ran into a good friend of mine and rolled the window down, and the fishermen always were cutting up and talking back and forth, and he was saying he hadn't caught any fish, and it's been a rough week, and I, I was telling him that I'd been catching them on top water, and he said, you know, I haven't caught any on top water, but then again, I haven't tied on a top water. And I got to thinking about that because if you if you're gonna fish top water, if you're gonna catch top water fish, you got to tie on a top water. F. B. Meyer, author of the book The Secret Guidance, said this: The great tragedy of life is not unanswered prayer, 
but unoffered prayer. Mm. If you don't ask, you can't expect anything. And I don't know if you know this or not today, you probably do, but today is the National Day of Prayer. And I was thinking about that conversation with that guy yesterday, not catching any fish, and then I was think, praying this morning, and I was thinking, no, if you don't ask God, then you really can't expect anything. you got to tie on the lure. you got to put it out there. And, you know, this National Day of Prayer takes on a whole different meaning, you know, with the pandemic and all the things that are going on in our culture and what's happened this year. You know, some of you, we've said over the last couple of weeks, you, you've you have genuine fear to re-enter. Some of you guys um, need prayer over that and, and have been praying for that, and we've been praying for you on that. And, you know, I think about our government officials, and, you know, there's a lot of conspiracies going around, Jake. I'm not into conspiracies. Uh, I mean, the only yeah. conspiracy I buy into is you take me fishing and you give me a lure to see that it doesn't work, so the lure you're using catches all the fish. That's the only conspiracy I buy into. But go ahead. So anyway... Um, one thing we can do is not pay attention to him, but really pray for our government and our officials and these guys and these ladies who are making decisions, regardless of what side of the political um, world that you're in, is we pray for our officials because uh, it, this is a new world. This is a new thing that's going on. We've never seen this in our history. And I was reading this morning, uh, James chapter 5, where he says this, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And then in verse 17, he says, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly. Now get this, human being, just as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And guess what? It did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. Now listen to me. If Elijah can pray it wouldn't rain for three years, we can pray for our world leaders. And we can expect incredible things. We can pray that this pandemic ends. We can pray to end fear. I know some of you have that fear and you can begin to pray just like Elijah could stop rain with his prayer that you and I can pray that God would end our fear, that we can pray for our world leaders, that they would have wisdom in this and protection and effective leadership during this time. And so I want to suggest to you today, because this video is going up a little bit sooner today than our last videos, maybe this is the first you've heard of National Day of Prayer, maybe it's not, maybe you've already been praying, but maybe you're kind of wondering, what, how do I pray? This Sunday, I'm going to be talking about prayer. But today, I want to offer you just a plan, and it's found at crosswalk.com. And we're going to be posting this link at the end of this video, down in the feed. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to click that link at the end of this video. Uh, that'll kind of give you a plan of how to, how to pray today. And not only today, but going forward. And when you look at it, it's a comprehensive plan. In fact, when I looked at it uh, earlier this week, I was like, holy cow, that's huge. I mean, there was just all kinds of stuff on there. And so don't get overwhelmed. Here's what I would say to you. Pick your passion and begin to pray. You might just pray for our leaders locally right here in Wood County. Uh, if you're in Gregg County, if you're in Smith County or whatever county you're in, you just might start right there and just every day pray for them. Pray for our church as we make decisions here. Um, pray for your family. Uh, you know, I know families are struggling all over and pray for other families uh, that are struggling uh, with kids at home and retirees stuck at home and shut-ins. Pick your passion and begin to pray. And then tomorrow, maybe pick another area. Here's the big thing I would say, just pray. Mm -hmm. If you don't tie on the lure, you're not gonna catch any fish, Jake. If you don't put it on top water, you're never going to see that big old explosion. And here's what I love. Prayer unlocks this incredible treasure that we may never see if we don't ask. Jesus said this in Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Then Jesus told his disciples that they should always pray and not give up. Always pray and not give up. So church, that's my encouragement to you today on the National Day of Prayer. Thank you for being generous. Thank you for all you do in this community. We get to receive a lot of those blessings, but it's really you that, that is making this happen. So today, as you pray, cry out to God and see what he does. I'm telling you, he's ready to answer your prayers. I love you. Cannot wait to see you. Um, 
hopefully we'll be able to open up really soon as we get everything in line. And until then, we're praying for you. We love you. Thank you.